Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? We have 5 plus 5 raised to the power minus 3 divided by 5 minus 5 raised to the power minus 3. Here, we can equally write it as 5 raised to the power 1 plus 5 raised to the power minus 3 divided by 5 raised to the power 1 minus 5 raised to the power minus 3. So 5 raised to power 1 same thing as 5. Then this 5 raised to power 1 here we can write it as 5 raised to power minus 3 plus 4. Minus 3 plus 4 same thing as 1. Then this will now become 5 raised to power minus 3 plus 4. Then plus 5 raised to power minus 3. Then divided by we have same thing here that's 5 raised to the power minus 3 plus 4 minus 5 raised to the power minus 3 then from the law of indices here we can separate this as 5 raised to the power minus 3 times 5 raised to the power 4 then plus 5 raised to the power minus 3 here divided by also same thing here we can separate this as well in the same way so we have 5 raised to the power minus 3 times 5 raised to the power 4 then minus 5 raised to the power minus 3 then when we look at this we have 5 raised to the power minus 3 common both in the numerator and denominator then when we factor it out we have 5 raised to the power minus 3 into bracket here we have 5 raised to the power 4 left then plus here we, we are going to have one left then divided by also from here we have 5 raised to the power minus 3 out then what is here left is 5 raised to the power 4 then minus here one also left then 5 raised to the power minus 3 we cancel out then we are left with 5 raised to the power 4 plus 1 then divide by 5 raised to the power 4 minus 1. Then 5 raised to the power 4 simply means 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 multiplied say 4 times. And that is 625. Then plus 1 over 625. Here yeah, minus 1. Then 625 plus 1 will give us 626. So we have two six two I mean six two six here then divided by six two four here. Then when we reduce this two can go here that will give us equals to three one three here which is divided by also from here we are going to have three one two when we divide both sides by you know two to reduce this and here we have a simplified form of this problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn on the notification bell and uh, share this video give it a thumbs up if you have a comment put it in the comment section thank you for watching see you next class and bye for now